Hi, my name is Adrian William, and today's video is for all the individuals who are preparing for UPenn and University of Columbia's uh, dental school interview. And the reason I'm making this video and I wanted to talk about both these schools together because they share a lot of things that are similar and their interview is comparatively quite similar. But there are a couple of differences that I will try to talk by the end of the video. So first of all, I want to let you know that UPenn and Columbia both are considered to be Ivy League school uh, in the United States. So they are really big school, expensive schools. But if you're somebody who's actually planning to apply for a post-grad residency who wants to go and specialize, being in these schools give you a higher criteria because uh, the match system actually uh, kind of promotes or encourages individuals coming from these schools. So that's one of the benefit when it comes to being a graduate of UPenn or University of Columbia. The interview process for UPenn, uh, over the past three years, the candidates I've worked with, and usually in every cycle, I have about 10 to 12 candidates that I've worked with for UPenn. Uh, their interview process is comparatively quite uh, I would say easygoing. There would be a faculty member that will do a discussion with you. They will go through your resume, your SOP, and they will like to know what kind of person you are. So UPenn really wants to know who you are as a person because they really read your resume. They already read your personal statement, but they want to go through all the intricacies of your personality type, your emotional intelligence, can you communicate well. So the questions which I've talked earlier on my YouTube videos, like tell me about yourself, your strength, your weakness, anytime you dealt with failures, these kind of questions they will go through. But one of the things that UPenn is really big on, which I've learned from people who were studying with me in Colorado, but got accepted to UPenn, and uh, even from other candidates that UPenn is really picky about knowing that if you have clinical experience in the past and second thing they want to know are you, will you be able to survive and adjust in the American system because they want people who are climatized to the American education system to the culture and uh, thirdly they want to make sure you're somebody who can survive in a stressful environment because it's not just UPenn is expensive but along with that UPenn, uh, living in Philadelphia, it's a lot of stress uh, surviving up there, paying your bills and making sure you're uh, doing good in your classes because it's a strenuous system and they want to make sure that you can survive. So pretty much if you're preparing for UPenn interview, the questions are going to be pretty much I would say a conversation. I wouldn't even call it questions, it's more like uh, just having a conversation with the faculty who want to know who you are and what you uh, do as a person. So I would say go through the questions like tell me about yourself, your strength, weakness, uh, failures in life, leadership, uh, experiences, volunteer work, and why you want to come to UPenn. That would be a really important question. And they will also ask you why should we pick you as a candidate. So I would highly encourage you to work on these questions. The second part is talking about University of Columbia. So over the past uh, three to four years, I knew some people who got accepted. Then I had a couple of candidates that I prepared for. First of all, the key things to know about University of Columbia is that it's hell of expensive school because it's an Ivy League, it's a good school, but it is an expensive school. In the past years, their fee was around half a million, hundred thousand, five hundred thousand dollars, which was quite a lot. But the school is pretty, uh, I would say, it's a tough system and they are very picky when it once like their system is very tough, like in the sense that uh, they are strict about their rules. You can't, like they, they have zero flexibility. And I think that's similar with UPenn too, but they are pretty strict on their things. But coming to interview, it's gonna be a very brief uh, interview, just like Indiana University. These interviews are even like 20 minutes. They aren't even 30 minutes long. So the Columbia interview from the past, the dental students that I've worked with, uh, or advanced standing students that I've worked with, everybody told me it was a very easy going simple conversation just wanted to know uh, are you really the person that you mentioned on the resume have you done clinical work have you uh, have any experiences working in US why do you want to come to University of Columbia but 
here's one very important thing that they want to know whether you will be able to survive if we uh, give you acceptance at University of Columbia, whether you will be able to survive in the city of New York. Because most people, one going to school, then to school is one thing, but surviving in a city like New York and making sure you pay your bills and you survive up there and you don't get dissolved away under the pressure of the city, that's very important. And they don't want somebody who will quit from their system or from their school and cause them a lot of loss. So they will ask you in one way or another, uh, NYU is also very big on this, whether you will be able to survive in New York and they want to see if you have some kind of a support system, are you a person who will be able to manage stress. So these are some of the things that they will ask you. Besides this, Columbia interview is pretty straightforward. It's a conversation, just similar questions. What I mentioned, they keep it brief. But few things they want to see if you're somebody who has done clinical work, somebody who can survive in a city like New York, and somebody who will be a good team player. So these are some of the things that I've learned over the past four, three and four years that uh, I've gotten feedback from and the candidates I've worked with. But if you have more questions for me, you can uh, mention it in the comments. Kindly do like the video because your encouragement or your feedback matters a lot. And if you have any questions, reach out to me. You can reach out to my WhatsApp number. I'll try to put it in the description or in the video somewhere uh, or email me. Hopefully, I'll see you in a more meaningful video. All the best.